Okay, so today I am repainting this bad boy who's some kind of uh, evil Wookiee or bad Wookiee. I'll just run you through what I've already done. I used polymer clay to try and make a new belt so that it matched the image more, which will be on the edited video. But I didn't like how it turned out, so I've decided to forego that. That was annoying because it took like over an hour, but anyway, things go wrong. Uh, I've also got the weapons to paint. I've glued this together. Probably gonna ink it, I think, just so it looks a bit flamey. But to start with, I need to paint this guy uh, black. I did these spikes with skewers and I soaked them in super glue so that they become a little sort of plasticky. I destroyed my fingers, that's why they look so messed up. That's just super glue. Yeah, he looks, he looks a bit more like the uh, comic book version with the spikes. So I'm just gonna paint him, I'm gonna paint more black. Just some silver acrylic, try and bring up some of this detail. Brings up the detail a little bit, it's pretty cool. Nice for something so small. I'm gonna mix some white with the black and see. I don't want him to look grey is the problem. I think I'm gonna need to mix some brown with this to give it a different tinge, because that is just not showing up like it should be. There he is, that's where he's at at the moment. I don't know if you can even see that. It's all right, it's slowly coming up. I'm just worried it's gonna be more brown than gray. I'm gonna to have to go over it with some gray, patch it up a little. We've still got all of the detail to do as well, obviously. Sorry, I'm sure you can hear the noise, the whooshing. That's the air conditioner. I was way too hot. So I apologize for the audio in this second part. I'm now just dry brushing with gray and then I'm going to go over it with a little bit of brown. Since this uh, Wookiee is actually black, it's obviously you need to go over it with something to bring the detail up, otherwise it's just going to be black. So I've chosen gray. It's a good way to bring up all the detail to show you what you need to do when you're adding color. It's basically Bigfoot, isn't it, when you think about it? That's what we're doing here. Harry and the Anderson. Mm. To tape. Let's tape it off. It's time consuming, but it'll be worth it. Okay. Gold. I don't know why I thought it was silver. I'm glad that I um, <laughs> looked before I started painting it. That would have been orcs. Gently does it. Yeah, you probably have to go over it a few times just to pick up all the detail from all the different angles, but it's coming up all right. Get up under that hair. Just because you won't see it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I don't know why, but this reminds me of those little guys in um, Labyrinth that live in the town. Little goblins. I know the lighting's crappy. You get the idea. Okay, I can't remember where I filmed to last time, but this is where we're at at the moment. He's looking pretty cool. And at the moment, I'm gonna do his mouth, or ready his mouth, ready his eyes, and ready his scar for some uh, red. I'm gonna just do that with some white. I haven't got tiny brush, so this will be hilarious. This is um, quite big. Okay, jam it on in there. The reason I'm doing it with white is so that when I do the red, it pops a little bit more. That'll do. Wait for that to dry. Raw umber, it's a dark brown. Here. And I think his toes as well. I am going to Google what different apes or chimps 
pants look like because I'm not sure. I'm assuming the fingers are going to be a lot lighter than the fur. Okay, so the hands are kind of a fleshy colour, black through to a fleshy colour. So I'm going to do these in the dark brown and then with flesh, same as the toes, just to make that area pop a little. Otherwise, it's all sort of bleeding into itself. You do you. If you're, um, if you're painting your own, go with what you think, really. I know you can barely see that, but sometimes knowing that you've done it and that the details there is all that matters. Once we go over it with something a little bit lighter, it'll stand out a little bit more. There we go. Uh, top tip if you haven't seen my other painting videos, this thing that I am using is a puppy pad for puppy training. It's good because you can wipe your brushes on it, dry them off. When you're doing dry brushing, you can get the paint off and it's your work area. And then when you finish, just roll it and bin it. Saves the uh, table getting damaged as well because it's plastic backed. Time for that red. I know it looks really bright, but I'm going to ink it at the end so it'll be dulled down a bit. You'll just be able to see it in there like a normal sort of tongue color, hopefully. Nice. Seems like a lot of trouble for a tiny dot, but got to do it right, right? Ta -da. See if this helps me. That'll do, we'll see. I know I'm not saying much, but I figure that um, most of this will be edited out when I shorten the vid for you. Just go across, remember to go across. Don't go anywhere that there's crevices. Never go along the crevice. Always go across. It'll hopefully give you that nice separation of the colors. Even here, you can see this in tiny little wrinkles I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up but they're there we're gonna go across that way don't worry if you go over remember that we can fix any darker areas it's a shame that writing's there I didn't want to sand it off because it's a commission I don't know whether that needs to be left or not but if it was my own thing I would have sanded that off I really hope the camera's picking that up I know you can't see that, you're not going to see that when it's on the shelf, but it's a nice little detail, so add it in, add it in. This is just that scent, a bit sort of claws, toenails, whatever you want to call them. This is the fiddliest part, especially when your eyes are buggered, like mine are. I think that'll do because the wash will fill it in a little. That's it, going across rule again. Don't go down where the gaps are, go across and hopefully it will leave all the gaps in his teeth. say dreads. Thinking of doing them slightly different, I'm thinking of doing them a little bit brown. I noticed in one of the comic panels they're actually different to the hair in his body. Okay, I'm going to do them a different color. I feel like if I follow that comic panel that I found there where they're they're actually brown, the rest of them is sort of blacky gray. It'll make it pop a little bit more. I'm not going to do it really obvious. I don't want it to look like his head's been stuck on. 
so I hope you know what I mean. I, I think it'll look good. Otherwise, it's all sort of running into itself. And once these are gold, it is literally just gonna all be the same. Gold, gold gray, gold gray. No, we don't like that. Okay, I am going to go with burnt umber. see them but you'll know that you did them and that would be nice now you're probably like oh my god Angela what are you doing but I think this will look cool now for these I would have done silver just to differentiate it from the armor but the screenshots of this character it's gold, so got to stick with that because it's a commission. All the little metal bits in his hair. You know, I think I'll just do them heavy and then hope that the wash picks up the detail because getting them to keep the detail at the moment is not going to happen, sadly. I think he's nearly done. Just gonna put a little bit of a wash over his nails again. I am hitting it with Seraphim Sepia, which is a nice shade, because I didn't like how the Nuln oil settled. If I've edited that out, I actually tried it with Nuln oil first, and I didn't like how it sat. Just put some on this to try and bring it up a little. Some detail there, but it's quite hard to see. I might add a little bit of yellow as well. We'll see. I think that's it done, guys. I will take some photos because I know this lighting is terrible. I hope you've liked this little run through of how to repaint this figure. It's a pretty cool figure. Uh, I kept the front of the blaster red as I saw, oh, I need to fix that. I kept the front of the blaster red because I saw that in one of the um, panels that I found with this character holding it. Okay, I'll pop up some photos now so that you can see what it actually looks like in proper light. I'll probably take it outside for some natural light. I'm hoping that Cam, my mate Cam that commissioned this uh, likes it. It's got a lot of nice detail. I'll probably neaten up a few little things, the spikes and things, that little mistake that I've spotted. But other than that, that's it done. Cheers for uh, joining me, especially if you join me for that initial live stream that went for two hours. Uh, obviously you won't see that in this edited version, but to all the guys that joined me there, brilliant. Really, really good quality folk. I'll see you on my next video. Nerf and Stein out. <laughs>